क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वी हैव गिवन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ पार्टिकल एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टाइम आफ्टर विच द वेलोसिटी एंड एसोलेशन बिकम परपेंडिकुलर सो एज फार इन द क्वेश्चन गिवन फर्स्ट इफ वेलोसिटी एंड एसोलेशन आर परपेंडिकुलर देन देर डॉट प्रोडक्ट मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो गिवेन v dot a equal to v t plus one i cap minus one upon t plus one j cap dot and after differentiating velocity we get acceleration so after differentiation we get i cap plus one upon T plus one whole square j cap, and that must be equal to zero. So that equal to t plus one one upon t plus one whole cube, and that must be equal to zero. So that equal to t plus one whole power four equal to zero. and that implies t equal to 0 second so option one is correct answer now question number 3 in question 3 a ball is dropped from the top of building and simultaneously another ball is thrown in upward direction and we have to calculate actually we have to draw the graph between relative velocity of balls and time so question 3 since both balls are in air so relative acceleration of both balls become zero and therefore the relative velocity of both balls must be constant relative relative acceleration is zero so relative velocity must be constant so option fourth is the correct answer answer four t and relative velocity v question number four a particle starts from rest its acceleration a versus time t is as shown in the figure the maximum speed of the particle will be we know that the area under at curve represents change in velocity but since the particle starts from rest and therefore maximum speed maximum speed equal to area under vt curve up to t not and that equal to 1 by 2 t not a not so a not t not divided by 2 And option one is the correct answer. Correct answer is one. Question number five. We are given two statements, first and second. We know in linear SHM, since force is directly proportional to force is directly proportional to displacement with negative sign. So obviously option A is the correct. So A statement is correct and B is wrong. So option three is the correct answer. Answer is three. Now question number six. A stone of mass m tied to the end of a string revolves in a vertical circle of radius r. The net force at the highest point is. So if we draw free body diagram, if we draw free body diagram of the particle at the topmost point, then we get tension towards center and weight. vertically downwards and that is velocity v so if you write net force f net and that will be equal to t plus mg and that equal to mv square by r and therefore net force is equal to t plus mg so obviously option first is the correct answer answer one so number 7 a closed compartment containing gas is moving with some acceleration in horizontal direction neglect effect of gravity then the pressure in the compartment is so due to inertia due to inertia 
the molecules in the rear side will be more and therefore the pressure on the rear side of the compartment will be more and lower side and in the lower in the front side that will be lower so obviously option second is the correct answer